Hello boys and girls, this video is going to show you some different strategies that you can use for both addition and multiplication. So the first strategy that we're going to look at is actually a property. It's called the commutative property. And it's, it's kind of cool what it can do. So right here I have a strawberry and I have a kiwi. Now if I add my strawberry and my kiwi together, what do I have total? What's my answer? Well, I have a strawberry and a kiwi, right? Well, what if I switch my order? So now I have a kiwi plus a strawberry. Does that change my answer? No, I still have a kiwi and a strawberry. Let's look at it with numbers that may make a little bit more sense with numbers. So let's say that I have one plus two. Well, I know that one plus two equals three, correct? Because I have one thing, I add two more, that equals three. Well, what if I switched my order of the numbers that I'm adding together? So now I have two plus one. Does that still equal 3? Let's think about it. 2 plus 1. Yeah, that still equals 3. So the commutative property shows us that it doesn't matter the order in which we add things or multiply things. It's the same with multiplication. It doesn't matter the order that we add them. Our answer is still going to be the same. Now that's only with addition and multiplication. All right. Now let's go to our next property or our next strategy, which is the associative property. So I'm going to keep going with my fruit here because I really, really like fruit. All right. Now I have my strawberry and my kiwi like before, but I'm adding a banana to it. Now with the associative property, it's similar to the commutative property, but you'll notice that we have parentheses. Now when you see parentheses, what that means is you need to add these numbers together before you add this in. So what I would do here is I would add my strawberry and my kiwi together and then I would add my banana in. That would give me those three pieces of, thru of fruit all together. Well, what if we put it in a different order? So what if I decided that I wanted to add my banana in first, so I'm adding my strawberry and my banana, and then I add my kiwi on at the end. Does that change my answer? Does that change how much fruit I have or what kind of fruit I have? No, it doesn't. Let's try this with some numbers, okay? So let's use these numbers from up before. I have two and I want to add one. And then let's go ahead and add this green as well. So I have 2 plus 1 plus 3. Well, we want to start within the parentheses first. So I'm going to add 2 plus 1. I know that that equals 3. Then I'm going to add 3 more. Well, I know altogether that 3 plus 3 equals 6. Well, what if I wanted to do it in a different order? So let's switch these two numbers out. So, I have 2 plus 3, I know that that equals 5, plus 1 more, that equals 6. So with both of these properties, they're similar in the fact that you can add them or multiply. You can do the same with multiplication. You can add or multiply them in any order, and it will still equal the same answer. Kind of cool. Now let's go to our third property. Now this property, you guys already know. The distributive property. We're just going to do a quick review. Just make sure that you remember the distributive property. So I have a garden and I want to plant some peas and some corn. Now, one way that I could figure this out is by kind of making it complicated. I know that I have three because I have three rows and for the peas, I have three columns. 
And for the corn, I have five columns, two, three, four. Well, that's kind of a confusing way to think about it. So let's think about it in an easier way. Let's use our knowledge of area, right, of arrays. So I know that I have three times three because I have three columns and I have three rows. And then right here, I know that I have three, three rows, excuse me, by five columns. Much more manageable here, don't you think? So now I can think, okay, well I know from my three song, three, six, nine, three times three is nine. And I know once again by my three song, three, six, nine, 12, 15. Okay, so I have nine plus 15. So if you think about that, that would be 24. What that means is boys and girls is that I would need 24 packets to successfully complete the garden that I would want. So remember with the distributive property, you take something that's maybe just a little bit more complex or confusing and you break it down into more manageable pieces, and then you just add everything together to get your total. So this week, start thinking about these different strategies and how you can use these strategies to help you complete some addition and multiplication problems.